What's up guys? It's your Rapid Fat Loss Coach, Thomas Tadlock. I want to thank you for bettering your body and becoming an inspiration to others by watching my video. If you're really into drinking caffeine every day, I want you to know that no matter what the source, be it green tea, guarana, or coffee, enough of it will slow your long-term fat loss. This is why I get all of my coaching clients off caffeine while they are trying to lose as much fat as possible. But if you're in the habit of drinking caffeine from coffee or energy drinks on a daily basis, it's not so easy to go off of it. I know this because two of my coaching clients happen to be the president and CEO of one of the largest energy drink companies in the world. And the reason is, one, because it's addictive, and two, for coffee lovers, the thought of not waking up to their warm, tasty drink is heartbreaking. So there are two strategies to beat caffeine addiction. Number one, going cold turkey. Um, that is, you just suck it up and stop 100% and never go back. Now, you know, I was so addicted to caffeine, I actually chose the first strategy, but not on purpose and not voluntarily. One day I got the flu and I was basically out for an entire week and a half. It really, really put me out. I didn't want to drink anything. I didn't want to eat anything. And so that meant I wasn't drinking any energy drinks during that time. A week and a half went by. I woke up in the morning and I just did not have the urge to grab that energy drink and put it down. Um, and it turned out that I just felt so much better. Now, if you do the cold turkey method, it's not going to be fun, but it will be over in about one to two weeks, and you'll have more energy and lose more fat faster than you ever have before. The second strategy works best for coffee. If you make coffee at home, get the decaf version of your favorite coffee. Then begin mixing your regular coffee with half decaf. Now, of course, if you order your coffee from a coffee shop, just order it half decaf and regular. Now see how that feels and stick with it until it feels normal. Then mix your regular coffee in with three quarters of decaf and then stick with that until that feels normal. See, repeat this process until you're completely on decaf and you feel 100% normal using it. Now, this next step is crucial. If you aren't already, make sure that you are getting your two to four tablespoons of fish oil in along with your five servings of raw fresh vegetables every single day as you are bringing down your caffeine. The drop in energy that you might experience will be completely neutralized by those raw vegetables and fish oil as long as you do them and you do them every single day. Now, the ultimate goal would be to completely go off the caffeine and that would be to eventually go cold turkey, but this video is about cutting back. If you get off it completely, you'll lose fat faster. So here is your action task if you want more energy and faster weight loss in the long run. Simply attempt one of the two strategies that I described to cut back on your caffeine intake. You probably won't pop out of bed and be instantly awake after your warm cup, but once you get your caffeine withdrawal over with, you'll end up sleeping much better and you simply won't get sleepy as often. I went off the of caffeine many years ago, doubled up my raw vegetables and fish oil, and now I get to go to sleep an hour later and wake up an hour earlier than I used to, and I have more energy. I simply don't get sleepy during the day anymore. It is awesome. I hope you do it. I hope it serves you, and I hope you're able to stick with it. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch this video and becoming an inspiration to others. This is Thomas Tadlock, your rapid fat loss coach, and I am out.